Hi friends, it's Amy. Welcome to my bookish life. Today we're going to open up my December Books and Treasures box. So let's get to it. This is one of my favorite things to do every month. I just love the bookish things that we get. It's always just really beautiful. So, December's wintry breath is already clouding the pond, frosting the pain, obscuring summer's memories. John Gettys, time to find reasons to get out of the cold and read a new book. Sarah and Eric, so true, so true. All right, here's my coffee. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited to put all this stuff. <laughs> It's so cool. Okay, so here's my coffee. I have cinnamon and southern pecan and yes, blueberry vanilla, my absolute favorite. Yay. Oh my gosh, look at this. Oh, it's so cute. Read more. It has the book pages inside. Oh, it's just adorable. I absolutely adore this. It's so pretty. I wish I knew what book it was in there. You know, wouldn't that be cool to know? I would love to know that. All right. Lloyd's of La Luna. I, their candles smell so good. They use them all the time. This is vanilla eggnog. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it almost it almost has like a cinnamon roll frosted cinnamon roll smell to it. Mm. Yeah. Oh, it's so uh, Yeah. Oof. Man. That is that is good. I really like that. Look at this. We have bookish beanie. I don't, I'm not much of a beanie wearer, but you know what? I don't hate it. <laughs> it's, it's pretty warm. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Um, this is some nice material and it looks really durable. So that's awesome. Then, oh, this is a magnet. Mary Litmus. Ah, I love magnets. Probably way more than I should. What, who needs this many magnets? I don't know. Maybe me. <laughs> this is not a super durable magnet. Like, this is not going to hold up, like, a bunch of papers or anything. But it's definitely going to be good for, like, a decoration. So I, I like it. Uh, here is, oh my gosh, this is so cute. Here's the bookmark. We have a snowman, which I love, on top of books, which I love. And look at this tassel, red and green. Just adorable. I love it. And it's a nice metal material. Like this is, these are sturdy bookmarks that they've been sending lately with this more sturdy material that I really like. And then we have our mug, which I have absolutely been loving. If you've seen my advent calendar series of shorts that I've been doing, most of the mugs that I use are actually from my Books and Treasures mug. Yes. Oh, oh. <gasps> Oh my goodness. Okay. So there on the side. And look at that. My holidays are all booked. This is a, oh, this is beautiful. I love these. And these mugs are such a nice size. I love that. Oh, I've really been loving these so much. That might be one of my new favorites. But I can't really say because I've loved them all. I really, really have. 
honestly and truly. Okay, so here's the, oh, here's the book. It's definitely hardcover. There's a cute little Merry Christmas sticker on there. Very nice. <clears throat> Shakespeare's Secret. Shakespeare's Secret by Elise Broach. We've heard of this before. When Hero starts sixth grade at a new school, she's less concerned about literary origins of her Shakespearean name than about the teasing she's sure to suffer because of it. Oh, yeah. So she has the same name as a girl in the play by a dusty old author. Hero is simply not interested in this connection. But that's just the thing. Suddenly, connections are cropping up all over. There's a million-dollar diamond hidden in her new house, or so she's told, a curious woman next door who seems to know an awful lot about it, and then, well, then there's Shakespeare. Not to mention Danny Cordova, who's only the most popular kid in school who seems intent on uncovering the mystery with Hero. Is it all in keeping with her namesake's origin? Just much ado about nothing? Hero, being Hero, is determined to figure it out. In this gripping novel, Elise Broach weaves an intriguing literary mystery full of historical insights and discoveries. I have heard of this book before. Um, I can't remember if I've read it, though. Um, but I went through a phase that I just wanted to read all of the books that had Shakespeare connections to them. I feel like I did read this, but I'm not sure. Definitely going to reread it then because this sounds very intriguing and a lot of fun. So yeah, very exciting. Have you read this one? What was your favorite of all of these wonderful treats that I got today? Because let me tell you, I am very excited about all of them. And I mean, this mug is gorgeous. I don't even, I love those lights. It's just such a wonderful touch. I, I just love it. Love it. But then you, but then look at this, right? I mean, so much wonderfulness in one box. I'm so excited. Let me know what you think of this book, of this box down in the comments. I love to hear from you. That's all I have for you for today. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. If you'd like to hear more from me, I'd love it if you subscribed. I hope you're finding something wonderful to read. And until next time, happy reading. Bye.